Hello Helpful Programmer here and today we'll be starting the 3D tutorial series. If you haven't watched the 2D tutorial series then I advise you to go and watch those first as they are very helpful and they're an introduction to Dark GDK and the um, basic set of functions that we're going to be using throughout 3D. There's one main difference um, between 2D and 3D, the most obvious being that in 2D we have the X coordinate going across and the Y coordinate going down, but in 3D we have the extra Z coordinate and being our depth. So when we're creating games we don't just have X and Y, we now have the Z coordinate. Let's go into Visual C++ and create a new project. We can name this anything that we want and I've just called it the generic Dark GDK 3D game. Um, it doesn't really matter what you call it, just anything memorable memorable so you, when you go back to try and find it you can find it easily. So what I've done here is just created the basic structure for our Dark GDK game with the includes and everything we've discussed in previous tutorials. The first new function we're going to have to learn is DB position camera and this brings us on to our second difference. Instead of 2D where we just have a fixed camera and move the sprites around in that area we have an actual camera we can move through the 3D space which is positioned at the three coordinates that's X, Y and Z. So let's go and place it at 0, 0, 0. And another difference is that we'll be going into negative numbers a lot so instead of going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we can actually go negative 1 so it's sort of going like this way. It's good to initialize the camera because you can make sure where you want to position it. There are a lot of functions to do with camera like roll camera, pitch camera, turn camera, move camera, but let's save that for another tutorial. Now let's go on to objects. Objects are the 3D equivalent to sprites. Whereas you would load an image into a sprite, you load an object file or a preset shape. The preset shape range from box to triangles and can be used to make simple structures to use in your game. The other method is loading in an object file. This function is db load object loading parentheses and then you put in your file name just like you would load in an image but you skip the image part and literally just load it into the object to use. So let's say I'd want to use a gun.x file and just like with sprite IDs you have an object ID so let's give an object ID of 1 for instance. But let's go ahead and create a set object. Let's make a box. Open the parentheses and then we need to choose an object ID. Let's use the first available one which is 1. Comma and then we need to specify its width, height and depth. Let's make it 10 across on the x-axis, 10 across on the y-axis, and 10 across in the z-axis or depth. Closing parentheses and doing a semicolon. Now that we've made the object, let's place it in the 3D world. To do this, we use the function db position object. Open parentheses, and then we use our object ID, which is 1. And then we need to specify the coordinates. Let's place it at 0, 0, and then we need to place it in front of the camera, so let's give it a Z depth of 50. Close the parentheses and do the semicolon. So going back to our diagram, our camera is here, and it's facing along the Z axis. So, and then we positioned our object here. Now let's go and run the program and see what's happened. As you see, it's right in front of us. Let's go and offset it a bit to show that it is 3D. So let's place it at 10 on the X axis. Let's go and compile it. And we can see that it's just a bit to the right. And if we did negative 10 and compiled it, it would be a bit to the left. 
and we can play around with the coordinates in 3D just to get a feel on how it all works. For instance, we could do 10 where the Y is, and then it should appear to the left and raised a bit. As we can see, we can see a little bit underneath. Now let's go on to learn a few more functions. Let's learn how to rotate an object. To do this, we use the function db rotate object. Open parentheses and put 1, as that's our object ID. And then we need to specify the angles at which it should be rotated at. Let's go back to our diagram and see that if you want to rotate on the x-axis, what it means is that it's going to be rotated this way. If you want to rotate on the y-axis, it's going to be rotated this way. And if you want to be rotated on the z-axis, it's going to be rotated that way. It's quite hard to explain on a 2D image, so let's go into our program and see what it does for itself. Go into our db rotate object function. Let's go and put 20, 0, 0. So what will happen, it will be moved 20 degrees on the x axis angle, which is this one. Let's go and compile it and see what happens. As you see, it's been rotated up, which is correct, as it will be rotated up this way. And let's go and do the same for the y axis. So change x to 0 and y to 20. And compile it again. And you'll see that it's been rotated to the left, which is correct, as it should be rotated this way. And the same for the z axis. Change z to 20 and y back to 0. Compile it and you'll see that it's been rotated that way. The same with positioning, I advise you to have like a little play around and just get to feel with all the axes in play as it's a lot different than 2D which is fairly simple as it just rotates the way you think it will rotate. Now that we've learned how to create a preset object, position it in the world and rotate it, let's learn how to load up an object file. This can come in the format of X 3DS, MDL, MD2 or MD3 format. The most common I'm going to be using is X and 3DS. Let's go and write the function. Instead of DB make object box, we're going to be using DB load object. Open parentheses, and then open speech marks, and then let's put the file name. But first we'll need to get an object file. So let's go to the game creators located in our C drive, program files, the game creators and then click on Dark GDK, media and has a brilliant repository of everything you'll need for game programming which you can use to test out new features that you're working on instead of having to make media of your own. So let's go to models and let's get a gun. So go to gun and you'll see that it comes in .x and .3ds and .tga. Let's get the .x version, so copy it, and then go into Visual Studios 2008 in our documents, go to project, go to our project, click on it again, and place it in this folder here. Well, Let's just change it to gun.x, go into our project and type in the file name which is gun dot x close the speech marks do a comma and then one close the parentheses and do a semicolon now let's go and compile it and see what happens as you can see it's quite a detailed model and gives you an idea on how detailed your games can get hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you have learnt a lot in the next couple of tutorials i'll be going into various other things you can do with 3d and the various capabilities dark gdk has bye Thank you.